That was just so weird. I can't believe we're doing this. These cats are gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> Turns out we were scammed. We made it. So if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, we are moving to Hawaii. I am really excited for this. This isn't something I ever thought I would be doing in my life. I've always wanted to visit Hawaii, but something about just living there, it was like, it was, it was never like on my life to-do list living in Hawaii. But after visiting this past May, with my family for my sister's 21st birthday. I mean, I was, I was hooked. When we were planning on going to Maui, I mean, it was purely just, you know, leisure. The plan was to go there and come back, the end. But as soon as like we got our rental car and, you know, start driving around like two minutes later, I'm just like looking around. I felt so at peace. I felt at home. I don't know what about Hawaii made me feel at home because I had never been there before. I literally had just been there for like five minutes and that feeling just kept growing and growing and growing. So today we're leaving. I really do not want to leave here. All last night it was tearing me up and it was like, it just didn't, it just felt so weird that we're leaving because this might sound really weird, but as soon as we stepped off the plane and you know got our rental car and started like driving around and stuff like it just felt so natural to be here like and in a weird way it felt like i had been here before like first like ugh, this doesn't even make any sense because it it feels like home and i don't know if it also really gave us that homey feel because we stayed in a home and not a hotel maybe it's because we took this trip a lot slower than we usually do like usually our days are like jam-packed doing this 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 and this but this trip it was like we only did like one or two things the whole day like it was like a really leisure trip and it just felt it felt it didn't feel like we were tourists like it just felt like we were living here and just like hanging out i could live here and like by the end of the night when it was nearing 8 p.m when we had to leave we did a few tours that morning and a few hours before we left um we did a maui butterfly tour and we went inside this gift shop and there was like a wooden bowl I wanted and I was like, oh, that'd be a nice smoothie bowl. And Rudy, he was like, do we need to be buying anything if we're just gonna be moving here? I didn't really think much of it because before I met him, my dreams were to travel the world. It was only in my plan to move to Tennessee for a few years because after Tennessee, I was gonna live in Thailand and lived there for a few years and you know live and work abroad um for many years I wanted to live in the south of France south of Italy you know Thailand Indonesia but when I was talking to Rudy about all that I'm like would you do this with me he always had made it clear like you could do that but we'd have to separate because I'm not going to do that so when he's over here like oh yeah I'd move to Hawaii it's like that th that moving from Tennessee to Hawaii would be basically an international move and he wasn't ever down for it before so I, I mean but we were at the airport and I can't remember what he said to make me realize that he was serious but I think he said something like um so when are we moving and I was like wait a minute I was like, are you serious about moving to Hawaii? And he's like, yeah. He's like, that's what I've been saying this whole time. Amelia wanted to live there as well. She didn't, she, I mean, she cried when she left. She didn't want to leave. And she kept, she kept saying, I want to go home. I want to go home. I'm like, well, baby, we're at the airport. We are going to go home. She's like, no, I want to go back to my purple bed. I want to go home. And then I was like, oh, uh, because the bed that she slept on in Hawaii was purple. The bed sheets were purple. She meant home like to stay in Hawaii. She meant home like the condo that we stayed in. I felt at home there. She felt at home. Rudy wanted to live there. So it was one of those things. It's like, okay, we have to make this happen. As soon as we got back to Tennessee, like the next day I'm calling up moving companies and we're, I mean like we got straight into it and it's October now. So May, June, July, August, September, October. So five months we've been planning this and talking about it and 
really making it work. It's kind of stressful because moving our cats there is a big ordeal because Hawaii is the only rabies free state. So there's a huge like to-do list. There's a huge checklist of like all these things and steps we have to follow to get them in there without having to quarantine them for like four months. So we're still in the process of a lot. We're going through our things. We're gonna have two yard sales. We really wanted to get them done um, before the weather starts cooling down. It's already starting to cool down. Um, we really need to do it before it starts snowing. So the reality of it was this move to Hawaii is very spontaneous and there was a lot we had to talk about. Like we love to travel and go on road trips and stuff. How is that gonna work with living on Maui? So if we ever wanted to go anywhere, we'd have to fly and plane tickets could get expensive depending on where we're traveling to. Do you think we'd get island fever? What about family? Most of our family is in Tennessee. We've been planning this trip for like five months and we just now started telling family. Everyone's been like pretty much mainly supportive. Some people don't really get it. They're just like, really? They're just like, well, you can't just move to a place that you've only visited once and it's like, why not? And some people are like, well, you have to really think about it because living living somewhere is different than just visiting on vacation. It's, to me, that's just common sense. Visiting somewhere is obviously going to be very different from living there. But yes, we are doing this. We are making this happen. Our goal is February of 2022. But yeah, so this video is going to be the whole process of us moving, starting right here in Tennessee and by the end of the video we will be in hawaii oh is that a million that <laughs> this was his road. <laughs> have you ever used it i've never used it i've kept these around for so long but i think i'm gonna get rid of these i'm going through my books right now but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna keep a lot of this stuff so I already have a lot of the books that i don't want kind of like tucked away do you want this australia travel book this is another one of, you said you wanted to keep. It's a really nice book, but it's what Google's for. I think I'm gonna let it go. I don't really wear jewelry anymore. I used to wear these to school and people would grab them and pull them out of my ears. See, stuff like this is pretty, but where do you wear this? Right now I'm gonna go through the kids' clothes and pull out all the things that we're not gonna be bringing with us. Three, stuff like this, like it's cute, four, but five, six, when is he ever seven, gonna wear this? He's never eight, worn this. I need help. Rudy, do you wanna go through their clothes with me? Get that video. Yeah, I got from Amelia's baby shower. It's a like too thin hair. I know it's like tradition. It's I guess what people do, but I just I don't know if I like the idea of hanging on to someone's body parts. <laughs> keepsakes and old things and figuring out what I'm gonna keep what I'm not if you ever need anything erased off a page you need to use high polymer erasers <laughs> like these are the only erasers I will use I'm not a gift giving person I don't usually give gifts but there is this one Christmas I was just like I'm just gonna get the family things and for some reason I decided to get a shower head for one of the bathrooms in our house when the water was too cold the water turned blue and if the water was too hot like if it got like above a certain temperature the shower head would turn red and if it was green it was like the water was like just right and i was laughing when i was reading what my dad wrote he's like thank you for the shower head it's so neat i can't wait to take a shower now <laughs> thank you so much i love you both but wait, I love you both. I bought that. No one else bought it. This is a large chunk of what we are not going to be bringing. Yeah, we're having our yard sale pretty soon. Hi. 
Are you still still in the playhouse? And Amelia's really upset about it. <laughs> she came out and she started screaming, Don't take my house! Don't take my house! <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> the little playhouse that... Um, you guys might have seen if you've been following me for a little bit. And that little playhouse that Rudy had built for Amelia before Lucius was born. We're selling it. It's just too big. I mean, we can't bring it with us. Someone just came to our doors saying that they want it. And they'll probably be here later today to take it. It's just really hard letting certain things go. The rocking chair was another one. The rocking chair, huge sentimental item. We purchased that rocking chair years ago when we were pregnant with Amelia. Like with both my babies, I rocked them in that chair while they were still in the womb. You know, I rocked them to sleep in it, breastfed in it, read books to them in it. I mean, the more space we take up, the heavier things are the more it's gonna cost us to ship our stuff there. So there's certain things that we're letting go that our hearts aren't ready to let go of. And this journey has been such a roller coaster of emotions. We just woke up, I'm sitting here feeding Lucius now. And I'm just sitting here looking through emails. Guys, I'm not exaggerating when I say I've been working on planning this trip since the day we got back from Hawaii. We still haven't figured out how to ship our stuff yet. I've been constantly calling and looking up and researching how to ship our stuff there because there, I mean, there's so many ways we could do it, but, and there's so many companies that will ship to Hawaii, but they're just so expensive and we're really trying to go for the cheapest option. So that's where we are with the move, just really trying to make it as cheap as possible. <laughs> trying to make it as cheap as possible. No, you. <laughs> so right now I'm about to call Delta. I'm calling different airlines because I'm trying to get information on like traveling with pets. I've never flown with pets before and we're bringing our two cats to Hawaii with us. And I'm trying to figure out how much the plane tickets for the cats are gonna cost. What size carrier do they need to be in? How many pets per flight? Like, can we bring both our cats? Or, you know, how does that work? So far, I've talked to Hawaiian Airlines. Um, got information for them. It's $125 for each cat. I don't want to fly United because me and Rudy would have to be separated because it's one pet per flight. I don't know. We'll probably fly Hawaiian Airlines, but yeah, right now I'm just trying to get information on flying with cats. This is our checklist for bringing the cats with us. It's about four pages. They have to have rabies vaccines, microchips, rabies antibody test, and yeah, so we're working our way through this. I think flying with cats is going to be our biggest challenge. And it was one of those things is like, well, like it's, it's such a hassle to bring them with us. And also it's taking us so long to find a place to move to because not a lot of places allow cats or dogs, you know, they just don't allow pets. So it's like, well, let's just hold off this whole trip, you know, when the cats die, like when the cats pass away and, you know, we're not bringing any pets with us. But then I was like, that makes no sense because they could live like five plus more years. You know, it's like they're fairly old, but it's like they could still live a while and you can't just wait for people to die to live your dreams, you know what I mean? So it's like, it would obviously be a lot simpler if we weren't traveling and, you know, moving to Hawaii with pets, but they are coming with us. Hi, I was calling about a Favin rabies antibody test, F-A-V-N. I was wondering... <clears throat> Yeah, we're moving to Hawaii, we're moving to Maui at the beginning of the next year, maybe like February, March, and we have two cats that need to get that test done, and I was wondering if that was a service you all provided, and if so, about how much that would be. Alright. Put me on hold. Yeah, 
No, no. Well, we're calling around a few different places trying to get, because our vet does it, but they're a little pricey and we're calling around different vets in the area to see if there's anybody that could do it cheaper. But so far you guys have been the most expensive. So yeah, I'm telling you right now, I, yeah, I don't, I don't want to set up a schedule. I, <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm telling you right now, we're not going to be using you guys. That's just, that, that's obnoxious. Yeah. Well, thank you for looking into that for me. I appreciate it. All right, bye. Y'all, these cats are going to give me a heart attack. I mean, we haven't even moved them yet. I mean, we're just in the process of it, but everything we have to do, they're on their way to be more expensive to move than we are. I've called like 28 places. I've been at this for four hours and yep, four hours. And I think I'm done. I think four hours calling nonstop veterinarian after veterinarian after veterinarian. I, th I think I'm tapped out for the day. <laughs> this Saturday, just one last yard sale, get everything else we have knocked out. Um, but it's supposed to snow. So guess that's out. So right now I'm just posting things on Facebook Marketplace and I have a few people coming today and right now I'm taking pictures so I can list things. We're gonna might have to let go of the kids' cribs. <sighs> I'm really not interested in getting rid of them. I don't think we're gonna have space and Rudy was looking up stuff on Facebook Marketplace in Hawaii and we found some cribs that we might end up just picking up once we get out there. But the funny thing is though with this crib, someone is selling the exact same one in Hawaii for like a hundred bucks right now. Yep. It snowed. Hey, no, look. It snowed. It snowed a lot, didn't it? Yeah, I saw it. It snowed last night. Did it snow last night? Yeah. It's starting to pack now. That's all I've got so far. I find rolling your clothes tends to save a lot more space. I've got to share. such a mess guys we leave in like three days and i feel so ill prepared we've taped i'm not sure what the lines in the middle are but the outline is um how much space we're gonna have in the lift van so whatever we can pretty much fit in that space i managed to get all the clothes i own plus some extra things in my check baggage so that was nice i left facebook up and i keep hearing like notifications coming up so let's see what we got here oh no okay i wasn't expecting that one i just realized too the man is coming right now to get the crib he said but Amelia's sleeping and she's not going to understand why she wakes up and her bed's gone. She actually fell asleep on the couch, so she's not sleeping in her bed right now. Yeah. Someone bought it. Is this bed going bye-bye? Uh-uh. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. It's moving day. It's moving day. So 
with amazing companies coming today. They're here. Does he live out there? He used to. Huh. I thought he went to Colorado or something. Oh. I know you did live there. computer posting some more stuff not everything was going to make it and I think it's gonna end up costing a little bit more than we anticipated because originally we were quoted at one lift van at a thousand pounds and um, they said they're pretty sure that they can fit everything in the lift van but the estimated weight was about like 12 to 1500 pounds because it doesn't get charged like just by the lift fan, it also goes by weight. And even though more could fit in the lift fan, I was like, that's just gonna add more pounds and therefore increase the final price. And I wasn't down for that. So um, I'm gonna post this piano as well that I wanted to keep, but I guess I can get a new one. <laughs> we leave in two days from now. And the funny thing is today is also pie day. So we're gonna get pizza. I usually make like an actual pie on pie day, like apple pie. But in honor of pie day, Blaze Pizza is doing some sort of discount and they don't have a Blaze Pizza in Hawaii. So we're gonna hit up Blaze Pizza at least one more time before we leave. <laughs> While I was in the bedroom working, came out to this. You want to sit with mommy? Oh, you want some mommies? Ah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is our last night here. This is my sleeping area for tonight. Feels weird leaving today. We're, um, someone's moving in here as soon as we get out, so we left them our couches. to be on a specific timeline for the cats, 
I would have liked to have been here earlier, you know, start the road trip earlier so we could have been in California longer. We've been here about three days now, but still I really would have liked to have been here about a week. And it's just been so nice to be back home and driving around, everything's so familiar. So many memories have come up. It's like one of those things, it's like you just see like, I don't know, a street sign or a building or something. You'll just see something while you're out driving and it just sparks a memory. I got this drink called Unicorn Tears. Never had it before, but I'm trying it out. Can I have you try that? <laughs> Mad tasty unicorn tears. Well, fart bring those after us. <laughs> Maybe. That is bad. That is bad. Yeah. It's very dry. Because I was dry. Because oh. I was. <laughs> God. I was drinking it in the car. I was expecting something completely different. I started drinking it, and I was like, "This is really disgusting." <laughs> Canada Draw stuff there, man. Oh, God. Hey, it just, just, the way they named it Unicorn Tears, I thought it would have tasted different. Yeah, a little about to tear up from Unicorn A little. We're going to the airport. Going to the airport. Okay, so, little update. We went to the airport and we got there. We got up at 3 a.m., left the house at 4 a.m. We figured that would give us enough time to drive an hour and a half to LAX. Um, that still left us plenty enough time to check in and all that for our plane to leave at 8 o'clock a.m. Well, it ended up taking about three hours to get to LAX, and so we didn't get there till past 7. And by that point, I mean, they were already boarding the plane and basically walking up so we missed the flight and so we're like okay so what do we do and the lady said you know just she's like you can either buy new plane tickets or you can be on standby for tomorrow's flight same flight same exact time and so we're like okay we'll do that um, but if we're on standby, you know, what are the chances of us actually getting on this flight? And she said, well, there's like 81 available seats. And I was like, well, if there's 81 available seats on tomorrow's flight, I mean, we got this. We'll just, you know, we'll just do this tomorrow. And then <laughs> when we got around to our vacation rental, we called them to let them know that we're not going to be there until tomorrow. And it turns out we were scammed. I don't know if I should say the name, but I'll just do it anyway. Max Blair. I've been talking to this supposed Max Blair and there is a Max Blair realtor, but I guess there's someone basically trying to impersonate him. And that's who I was talking to. I was talking to a scam artist and not the real Max Blair. So right now, I'm pulling up my laptop and basically, I hate to be doing this the day before we leave, but it's I guess it's better that we missed our flight and we're able to do this now rather than finding this out once we got there. here and even though things didn't turn out really how we wanted to I am so happy to be here I keep looking around and I'm like in tears because I'm just so happily I'm just so happy we made this happen 
but we're at Safeway right now and it's just so cute watching all the chickens running around chasing each other. There's chickens sitting inside the shopping carts in the parking lot. <laughs> saying at the beginning of the video but before we even made it to the islands um, we were looking on Facebook marketplace and we found someone was selling the same bed that Amelia had and it was still available you know even like how many weeks later like three four weeks later and so we ended up getting that and another similar one from a different person and right now I'm leaving Lahaina. We just picked up this couch. It's a beautiful couch. So this is the couch. I absolutely love this couch. As I'm sitting here editing this video, I just got a phone call saying that our stuff, our household goods are shipped. It's here and it's gonna be delivered Thursday, which is a few days from now so stuff's coming use this as a bingo sheet to take off the number off and at the end if you find any missing number of it you go back and look for it we went through was Premier Van Lines for one lift van at 15 or 1400 pounds. It was a little over $4,000. And then I got an email yesterday saying that our car is about ready to be picked up. And the soonest that we could pick up the car was April 15th. So that's what we're doing. We're picking it up tomorrow. So after tomorrow, once we pick up our van, um, we'll have everything. We started this at the very end of May. So let's just say the beginning of June. July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. 10 months. 10 months ago, we started planning this trip. I can't believe we made all this happen in 10 months. It's been less than a year since we visited Hawaii for the first time, and now we're here to stay. <laughs> we both reading. There it is. made it to Hawaii. I want to kind of sit down and update a little bit of what's been going on, what we've been doing. Vehicle registration. Um, I'm getting the safety check done today. The license plates. Um, Hawaii requires a front and a back license plate. In Tennessee, it's just a back. So Rudy had to drill holes and put one on the front, which wasn't excited about but it is what it is. Um, I applied for a driver's license as well. I have my temporary. I just need the official one to come in the mail. Now that we have a home address, we are now able to get bank accounts. We got our account set up and checkings and savings and all that. The kids have savings accounts as well. So we got all that, you know, all our bank accounts set up and opened up and whatever. Now we need mine and Rudy's cards to come in the mail. Rudy got a job. Today's actually his first day. So he's got a job now. Now I need to get one. We just got internet installed and set up yesterday. Spectrum came and did that. They had to hook it up up there at the top. There was no, um, I guess internet has never been set up here before. Like there was no cables. So they had to drill a hole through the wall, have it come down. They stapled it all down that wall and the um, monitor is right there. I don't know if you can see, but we're kind of starting to get our house set up a little bit. We got this couch. I am obsessed with this couch. I love it so much. It was such a fun, what a find. Something like this 
would typically be like in the thousands, right? I got this for $130. $130, that was free. Rudy's desk where, beside the guitar, where, you know, where the computer and all that setting up, his desk was free. Um, that chair, the rattan chair was like 25, 35 bucks. We're managing to thrift a lot of our pieces. I do miss home in Tennessee. Um, I really loved that apartment and it was really sad to leave. I loved our location. I loved the space. It was a it was a big two bedroom apartment. I'll miss the squirrels playing outside. You'd see them outside our window. Every Tuesday when the trash man would come, Amelia and Lucius would love looking out at him and waving to him every Tuesday morning. I'm gonna make a separate video all about our road trip and I will probably do a video on our experience of being homeless in the scam and what all happened with that. We got videos coming up, stay tuned for that and stay tuned for our adventures in Hawaii. But yep, thank you so much for watching this video and following this journey. Stay tuned for more videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.